chat room. Welcome to Wednesday night. I hope you had a good night day. I had a great day and it was doing good till about a half hour ago when my laptop decided that it wants to start a Windows 11 update even though the updates are turned off. So yeah, that was fun. Had to reboot everything really quick, but it's all working. It's here. I'm ready to paint. Tonight, I thought it would be good to use up some of my extra paint. This is some older paint that I mixed up a few weeks ago. Just leftovers, leftovers from last week's paints. You know, I have more paint over here. So I thought it'd be good just to use some of it as much as I possibly can. And we're gonna do the Dutch paint pour, which means we get to blow it out with a hairdryer. Yay! This is so much fun. Now, hopefully, when I use the hairdryer, my camera is right here, my um, lower camera. Hopefully, it won't go on there. So, we'll see what happens. So, let me know in the comments that you're here. Pop in, say hi. And let me know where you're from. Let's see. My friend Cindy was on a couple weeks ago and she's in Florida. So I am hoping that all is well with her, especially with all that hurricane stuff. So I am going to switch the views. Oh, haha. -ha. See technology, blurry. <laughs> Let's go try it again. There we go. Unplugging everything, plugging everything back in, and I can thank Windows Update for that. Oh, still blurry. You can see my hand, right? Woo! <laughs> okay. We may do something different. I'm going to leave it turned off for a little bit, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get the edges covered up here and hopefully by the time I'm done with that the camera will come back gotta love technology so this is just a whole lot of black paint I don't think there's any silicone in here I can't remember what I put in some of these because I didn't write it down and I kind of did it on the fly And what I like to do, if you've seen my previous videos, I like to get the edges and the corners covered first. So I am going to go ahead and do that. But in the Dutch paint pour, if you're new to paint pouring, if you've never heard of it, it was created by a fluid artist, um, a Dutch fluid artist, the reason why it's called Dutch paint pour. And um, she used a hairdryer just to blow the paint around. And she mixes her paint differently, mixes it a little thinner than I mixed mine, but I'm just really wanting to use my paints. And the paint, when it's blown by the hairdryer, air kind of gets injected into it, blows it out, turns it into soft, beautiful feathery effects. But you do have to lay the paint out first on the canvas. So there is most of my black. I'm just going to keep that. Stick it on the back. And let me check this camera. Oh, there it goes. Fixed itself. Yay! Gotta love live technology. At least it's able to fix itself. And what's good about this is I can use the camera right here to help me cover since I can't see. <laughs> All right. So this corner is going to be the black. Got it. Usually I use my hands, but um, this black... Um, it's a little harder to clean up off my hands. See? You can kind of see. Now, 
I'm going, I have a lot of this gold that I used a couple weeks ago. And it's a 24 karat gold. Let's see if we get both views so you can see. And it got, it has some beautiful shimmery effects. Hopefully the light will fix once I get some color on here. It's looking like that black is messing with my camera too. My poor camera. Not liking surprise updates, just like me. I'm going to get this on and then I'm going to switch it around for you. Whoops. <laughs> Ooh, that's going to be really cool. Look at that. going to go ahead, going to rotate this canvas to see if it will not pick up that black and have that glare on it, because that is no fun, huh? So, oh, much better. can learn something about technology tonight, too. It's um, Wednesday night technology night, right? <laughs> Cameras don't like black paint. It makes it white. I learned that a long time ago. I was hoping tonight would be a little different, but nope, not going to be different. So I did get some black mixed into here, which is fine. This is a champagne gold, so it's a little offset not as vibrant or bright reminds me of the color of my car but it's got this shimmer sparkle in it which is really cool okay we got a base paint on and got the canvas co covered now we're gonna start layering some color and I'm just going to clean up a bit right here. These colors are the Folk Art Color Shift that we used last week. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just layer down this middle right here. Look how pretty that it's a, this one is the green flash. And this one is the blue flash, which reminds me of a mermaid theme because it has some violet into the blue. Okay, look at there. Can really see the contrast between the two different colors when it hits the gold and the black. This is white pearl, which is a metallic white, but it's not a bright white. It's um almost a little gray looking. Oh, let's do this one too. Like I said, I'm just using up my paints. Random colors. This is a pink. I think this is from four weeks ago. And then, let's see, this is another green color shift, and I just mixed some of that white in there, but it's real pretty. Pouring color, pouring paint. One on top of the other. <laughs> and, gotta keep going, got more paint. <laughs> This one's called Purple Flash. And when it dries, these color shift paints, they're so awesome. They, they're holographic, they shift. When you look at them, different angles. Some of my favorite paints. And this is another gold. Oh, this was my cell activator I did off uh, Bloom Pour. That's right, this had silicone in it. So, well, see what happens. I think 
Some of these paints had silicone, some had dish soap from my experiments. I'm just gonna get some more on there. Ooh. And if you happen to be a fluid artist and you're watching, welcome. Go to Paint Pour Academy Community Facebook group, and it's a private group I have. And when you answer the questions, just let me know you saw me on YouTube, and I will accept, I will say yes, very happily. And then you can post your art and share it with me. I would love to see what you're working on. I love to see the different variances this art does. It's quite inner, it's exciting and entertaining. Okay, I didn't get these used. I think I have way too much paint on here again, which is kind of my theme. And if it happens to blow on my poor camera, you know, so be it. <laughs> It may not. I think I'm just being overly dramatic. Okay, here is my travel paint, uh, my travel hair um, hair dryer. It's Berta. Got it on Amazon. It's super cute. Now it does have this button right here. If you happen to do this, use the cold setting. Don't use the hot because the hot will speed dry it, and cold um, just blows it. Ooh, look! At, can you see right here? It's already starting to blend. Okay, let's get going. It's gonna get a little noisy, so just enjoy and let's have some fun. Okay, could you see all that paint that was on there? <laughs> it's crazy. Look how cool this looks right now. And it's very black right here. And I think I love it. I thinking, I think I'm gonna put, I'm probably gonna, this is what I do. I fidget too much and then I overwork it, but I'm gonna do it. I think I'm gonna put some rows of color right here and then blow it up into here because I do have the paint, so why not? And that's just so cool. Let me know what you thought of that. It is so much fun to use a hair dryer painting. And this travel hair dryer I found was awesome. I do have the link in the description. And if for whatever reason it's not, as soon as I'm done with this uh, live stream, I'll go make sure it's in there because I was looking for it a week ago, maybe? Um, the one I got um, was gone. So I found the same one. It's just a different link. Oh my goodness, look how much fun that is. And I think I'm gonna put a little bit of gold down here too. Okay, let's blow it out again and see what happens.
Okay. Oh, you know what? I have this corner. Somehow I missed it. Much better. Woof. <laughs> yep, I had way too much black paint down here. So the color I put in this corner just drowned and got lost. So what I had done is I blew off the paint so it's not so thick. And then I just took this line and I just kind of worked it down. And I have so much paint, it's going to run off my table. <laughs> That's awesome. So let me see if I could just get you a little close up. Can you see how wispy and fun that is? And that is just with me. Whoops, you can't see because of the. There it goes. And it's just using leftover paint that I have been collecting. What do you think? Let me know. Hi, Soapy friends. Good. I hope that was fun for you. The Dutch paint pour really is another quick one. I'm trying to see if you can see a little better. It's a little unfortunate that black gets sucked up with the camera, so you can't really see it. So I will do some close-ups of this in a little bit here. I'm going to let it settle and sit, um, probably tilt. But right down here in this area, when you see the... Um, the recap it is so cool it has all these color shifts right here and it looks very holographic and awesome and all these miniature cells all in here and then this gold because I use two different golds it looks very layered it's awesome very happy with this piece so thank you so much for joining me it was a little quick painting but now that my table is full, I have to do something else and I might end up just cleaning my room tonight. <laughs> so thank you so much for joining me. I hope you had a good time and I will see you in the next video. Bye.